Welcome back, North Haven CrossFit. This is Keys to Success. Again, we are coronavirus prepping you, making sure you can get all the fitness that you can in your own house or wherever you are, all right? Hopefully not at grandma's, you know, hopefully you're chilling at your house, not eating all that junk food, still staying healthy, still staying fit. Today, we have a workout. It is a seven round workout we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna walk through this workout. We're gonna put it up on the screen so you guys know exactly what it is that you're doing. But this workout involves, if you have weight, let's grab some weight. If you don't, it's okay. You can do it without weight. So let's walk through the movements. We're gonna start with seven, uh, I'm sorry, 10 pulse lun lunges on the left side. So pulse lunges, what are those? All right, you're gonna keep your, your legs in place. All right, we're gonna do 10 lunges just like this. If you notice, Alyssa, she's putting an all of her weight in her front heel. All right, so that's what we call pulse lunges. You don't come back to neutral, you stay in this position. We're gonna start with 10 of those. Then we're gonna jump into 10 free willies. All right, free willies, you're in a push-up position. You're gonna reach your arm as far underneath your body as you can, then you're gonna open up all the way on the other side. You're gonna do 10 of those, all right? 10 of those, if you need to stabilize, that's fine, but the goal is to be able to use your core and keep your body weight on that opposite hand. So 10 free willies. After that, you're gonna grab that kettlebell or if you don't have weight, it's okay, but you're gonna do 10 more lunges on the other side. So we have 10 of those. Again, she's pressing through, her knee's not coming over her toe. All right, we're still using a nice upright position. She's supporting the weight in the front rack position. Now we have 10 free willies on the other side. All right, all the way open really reach again the better the more the farther through that you can reach the more that you're going to get out of this exercise you really want to reach through and open up as far as you can get the last movement of this sweet sequence is either going to be double unders single unders or mountain climbers if you have a jump rope and you have the room we're going to run through 50 double unders all right if you don't if you can't master the uh double unders we're going to do singles we do 100 singles if you can all right, yeah, you could run through some singles, it's all right. Oh boy, yeah. pressure's on. <laughs> all right, so single unders. So we have 50 double, uh, 50 double unders or uh, 100 singles, or we're gonna do 50 mountain climbers. So if you don't have your jump rope, we're looking for mountain climbers. Again, we're looking for those knees to come all the way up, all right? So guys, this workout right here is a seven round workout, seven round workout. If you cannot make, uh, it's a 20 minute time cap. If you cannot make all seven rounds in that 20 minute time cap, you can stop or you can just stay motivated and keep going. But we put a time cap in there so to motivate you guys to move a little bit faster, get that heart rate going just a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the link below and we'll be happy to answer them. If not, we'll see you next time.